El estilo de vida mediterráneo, bueno, se puede reducir a disfrutar el momento, su gastronomía. That's it. El carácter de la gente de la tierra. Yeah, for good. So... Oh, no. <laughs> y olé. Hey. I'm Dino Bonacic, editor, broadcaster, lecturer and fashion tourist. And this is your ultimate guide to experiencing Andalusia through the eyes of locals. No lists, no spreadsheets, and barely any Spanish. Solísimo. That's right. Just an insatiable hunger for new adventures and fabulous accessories. Join me on the Spanish odyssey that embraces the unknown. Do you have any recommendations? Andalusia, a region with a multicultural history and music around every corner. Si tuviera que describir Andalusia en tres palabras, serían sierra, calor y cuna. The first thing on my agenda is Cuevas del Pino, a quaint hotel set in a stone quarry. What better way to prepare for my equestrian debut? Si Andalucía fuera un plato de comida, sería el gazpacho. Andalucía is beautiful monuments, flamenco, horses. Hi, I'm Dina. Julia. Lovely to meet you, Julia. What's his name? Manzanillo. What does that mean? A tree. A tree, a type of like tree. Like a horse. He's got gorgeous fringe. He's a real fashion horse. I've never ridden a horse, by the way. My first time, so I'm excited. <laughs> When can I be in the show? Today. Okay, amazing, <laughs> deal. It's all about the charming winding streets made for getting lost, friendly locals to get you back on track, and more fans and other accessories to help beat the heat. That's until I visited a local eatery with Paco Morales, a two Michelin star chef whose dishes bring stories of Andalusian past into the present. Paco really told me that a Spanish way of eating is a slow way of eating, which can be hard for me. Very hot, be careful. For me, the three flavors that represent Andalusia are the flor de azahar, the canela, and the almendra. My next stop is Seville. Do you have any recommendations? Mi recomendación en Sevilla, sin duda, es Plaza de España. Para mí, sería como si cierro los ojos y estuvieras en Marrakech, pero en Occidente. I could totally get used to a slower pace of life, but there's always more to see and do and learn. Andalucía, en tres palabras, sería belleza, historia y buena vida. Illustrator Anna Jaren promised me the most artistic walking tour of Seville. Tell me, Anna, where are we today? In Casa Pilatos, this gorgeous palace from the 15th century. It is so intricate. What is the most unique thing about Seville for you? For me, I guess it's the horror vacui concept that, well, we are surrounded by, is when you fear to leave something with no information, so everything is full, it's kind of baroque. What are some of your recommendations mm. um, of where I should go, what I should do while I'm here? Have you tried flamenco yet? España es amor, luz y amistad. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Qué dulce soy. For the last chapter of my trip, I got to meet dancer and choreographer Manuel Liñán, who's challenging flamenco's traditional gender roles. I even got a private lesson. Pal Esto es palma sorda. Okay, hacemos. Pasa, 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 pasa. Ah, ah, toma, que toma, que toma, toma. Chiquilla, 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 chiquilla. Remate, tres, y toma, que toma, y arza, y arza. Watching Manuel move in front of my eyes really made me connect with flamenco in a new way.
as this fashion tourist departs, my main lessons are talk to strangers, ask questions, and don't be afraid to travel alone. Spain is eating with friends, drinking with friends, and dancing with friends. Ole! <laughs> Muchas gracias!